God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, July 8th. Today's devotional is based on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 20 to 35. And the crowd came together again, so they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebub, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And they called them to him, and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, the house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. And then, indeed, the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemies against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they have said, he has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside they sent, sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Nibs Strube. In these verses in Mark, Jesus indicates that the power of these categories must be recognized and confronted in our lives if we are to experience the gracious and stunning love of God. He uses the metaphor of tying up the strong man in order to plunder his property. In using this parable, he speaks of the need of the gospel to expose our captivity to the strong men in our lives. In doing so, he seeks to free up our imaginations, which have become the property of Satan. Our captivity to Satan must be exposed in order for us to begin to discover the glorious freedom of the children of God, as Paul puts it so powerfully in Romans 8.21. And we're left with this question today. In what way are you held captive by the powers of Satan? Let us pray. Free up my imagination, God of my life, so that evil has no power in my life, and I am freed to share your love in this world. Amen. May the glory of God enrich your life. May the wisdom of God inspire your thoughts. May the love of God envelop your heart. May God bless you this and every day. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you have a safe and joyous weekend ahead of you. Until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That during the coming days of the pandemic, I guess we're in wave seven, you're playing it safe, wearing a mask, practicing social distancing, and when you're out in public, consider wearing a mask. God bless.